Welcome back, our dear candidates. Uh, in the previous session, we looked at the effect that some materials have on light. And one of them uh, was opaque objects. And we said that these objects uh, block or obstruct light and form shadows. So here we are uh, talking about shadows. What is a shadow? A shadow is a region of darkness formed when light is blocked or obstructed by an opaque object. Here they can ask you a question, how is a shadow formed? So you say a shadow is formed when light is blocked by an opaque object. You may, because of sparing issues, some of you may opt to use obstructed or blocked, but both can apply. Uh, shadows have got properties. Number one, shadows are shortest at noon or midday. I, I believe you know the reason. Here the sun is overhead the object. So that's why uh, the shadows normally appear shortest at noon. Then two, shadows appear longest in the mornings and evening hours. This is because the sun is at its horizon. So you realize that early in the morning, the shadows are longer and in the evenings. This is also a common question. Uh, why are shadows shorter at noon? Or why are shadows longer in the morning and in the evenings? Uh, shadows have parts and these parts are two, that is ambler, which we can also call total shadow, or the darker region. We were using darker because these are two objects. When you follow the degree of adjectives, we, we don't say the darkest region, but we say the darker region of the shadow. Then penumbra, which we can also call a partial shadow, or the dark region. Of the shadow. Uh, as illustrated here, you can see that the ambler part or region is slightly darker than the penumbra. So we have a formation, formation of ambler, which we've said it can also be called total shadow or the darker region of the shadow. And we are saying that when the source of light is small, what is going to happen? A total shadow called ambra is formed as shown in the diagram. When you look at this point, indeed it is a small source. So we have here in the middle the opaque object. Because we've said opaque objects are block light and form shadows. Then, on the screen, what is formed is ambla, or the darker region, or what we've called uh, total shadow. So, ambla is formed when the source of light, or the point source of light, is small. Then, two, formation of penumbra, which we've said it is partial shadow, or uh, the dark region of the shadow. And we are saying that when a source of light is big, or when a point source of light is big, ambla, which we said is a total shadow, will be surrounded by a partial shadow called penumbra. Ambla is the darker region, and this uh, and penumbra is the dark region of the shadow. So as illustrated here on the diagram, we have the big source of light. And it's, uh, some of these diagrams may not be in your, in your workbooks, but ensure to get where to capture them because they are very important. And ensure to use a ruler for accuracy. So... We have uh, the big point source, and we said when the, po uh, the point source 
of light is bigger, umbra, which is the darker region, will be surrounded by a partial shadow, which we have called penumbra, as shown on the diagram here. This is from a big point source of light. How are shadows important? We are saying that shadows provide shade, especially when uh, it's hot outside, you tend to move under the trees to take shade or inside the houses. Then two shadows are used to tell time. Uh, these days, uh, because of uh, a modernized world, you may not believe that, but those people of the past at least were able to tell time uh, using shadows. But still we have some people who can uh, use them. Then uh, three shadows are used to show direction. Uh, four shadows are used for security. This is where uh, probably one can hide, can take a hide from an enemy. Because you, you, you do not hide under light. You must keep yourself uh, in the dark so that you are not uh, recognized. And some organisms, take an example of bedbugs, uh, cockroaches, uh, use those dark regions as mechanisms of protection. Uh, shadows uh, protect plants from strong rays from the sun that may cause wilting. Wilting comes as a result of excessive transpiration. When a plant loses a lot of water, then it causes uh, wilting. So, shadows protect these plants from those strong rays so that uh, the wilting problem can be uh, controlled. Then, the dangers. How dangerous are these shadows? We are saying that they are a source of fear, especially at night. Dear candidates, you agree with me that most of you, if I left you to move at night, you'd look at something and probably think it's a dog and you take off. Uh, two, they are hiding places for dangerous animals. Like I said here, shadows are used for security. The bed bugs indeed are not very good humans as they suck blood uh, from the humans. Dear candidates, uh, attached is the activity from this lesson that you write uh, in your books and endeavor to do it carefully and submit it. Thank you so much.